I'm going to do a comparison here between all these different bulbs, mostly to try to find out if these GE reveal bulbs are really worth the extra money. These are the halogen reveal bulbs, and I want to see if the blue tinting really makes any difference compared to regular halogen bulbs and also regular incandescent bulbs. We're going to start with these cheap Trisonic 100 watt incandescent bulbs rated at 1300 lumens and a color temperature of 2700K. These cost $1.39 for a pack of three, so that is 46 cents per bulb. Next we have these GE 90 watt incandescent soft white bulbs rated at 1450 lumens and a color temperature of 2800K. They don't make these anymore. I just wanted to give a comparison to the halogen bulbs they're selling now, which are a 100 watt replacement using 72 watts, rated at 1490 lumens. You can see right on there, GE Halogen Technology. These are rated at 3000K, and at Walmart, these cost $4.67 for a pack of four. So that's a dollar and seventeen cents per bulb. Now we have these GE Reveal halogen bulbs, also using seventy-two watts, rated at eleven twenty lumens because the blue tinting reduces the brightness. And you wouldn't think it, but they're also rated at three thousand Kelvin color temperature, the same exact thing as the non-tinted halogen bulbs. So I want to mostly see what difference it actually makes on camera between these two different bulbs. Because if there is a difference in color temperature on the camera, then these ratings might not be actually telling the truth. But anyway, these cost $9.44 for a pack of four. So that's $2.36 per bulb. Pretty much twice as much as these bulbs. And finally, these are my favorite Philips EcoVantage halogen bulbs. 72 watt, 1200 lumens, so a little bit better than the GEs. Also a longer life rating. These are 1250 hours. This is 0.9 years, which I believe is a thousand hours. And this is an older package, so it doesn't say the color temperature, but I look up the specs on Philips website. And these are rated at 3070 Kelvin compared to 3000 Kelvin. These are also blue tinted. And these cost at Home Depot $3.84 for a pack of two, so that's $1.92 per bulb. So that is a little bit cheaper than the GE Reveals. So to conduct the comparison, I assembled a collection of items on my workbench just to show various different colors. And I have the camera set on a tripod and the bulb almost directly on top of it. Camera is set to manual tungsten white balance and we'll be recording a comparison between the different bulbs. There is some ambient lighting coming in but it shouldn't be enough to affect the comparison. This is the trisonic incandescent bulb. This is the GE 90 watt incandescent bulb. This is the soft white halogen bulb. And this is the reveal bulb. And this is the Eco Vantage bulb. This is the trisonic incandescent bulb. This is the GE 90 watt incandescent bulb. This is the soft white halogen bulb. And this is the reveal bulb. And this is the Eco Vantage bulb. This is the trisonic incandescent bulb. And this is the Eco Vantage bulb. So that's why the Philips EcoVantage natural light bulbs are my favorite. They have the highest color temperature of any of the halogen bulbs I can find in stores. 
and they also cost less than the reveal bulbs and they have slightly better efficiency and they're also made in Mexico while these reveal bulbs are made in China. I also was able to see a difference in color between the regular halogen bulbs and the reveal bulbs even though they're both rated at 3000 K. The color of the regular halogen bulb looked to be about halfway between the incandescent bulbs and the blue tinted reveal and eco vantage bulbs. But if you're looking for regular halogen bulbs, I would suggest getting the Sylvania ones because they are made in the USA. Unfortunately, Sylvania does not make a halogen version of their blue tinted daylight bulbs because I've used their regular incandescent daylight bulbs and those were very good.